Yeah. Well, I grew up with boxers, and they do dock their tails, and I never... We, we were always told that it was because their tails were so big and heavy that in the house they knocked stuff off their tails. But that's true with any dog with a big tail. So I guess they just thought maybe a, that, that it looked better. Yeah. Yeah, my roommate's got a big massive lab. And he's got this tail, which is like that big around. What? When it hits your feet. And I see even on a day like today, people are out using this dog oh, park. Yeah. It is fabulous. And especially like in a couple hours, like right after the dog park. Yeah. That's what we noticed. Because one day we came out here, there was kind of girls outside, and we came at like 5, 5.30, and we were the only ones here, and in 15 minutes, eight or nine. Well, fortunately, it drains pretty good. Yeah. We're lucky with that. Yep. We didn't know when we built it, now it was going to rain. Yeah. It rains pretty good. It's stayed well. ready for a few hours, but once it stopped raining, it's, it's not too bad. But apparently nobody cares. I guess nobody cares. You know, they just well, hopefully they bring something to put their dog on when they're going home. Yeah. <laughs> it could get kind of muddy. Yeah, yeah there's Toby. At least get the stuff off the bottom. Yeah. Well this is great. I thank you very, very much. And again, that'll be I'm putting this on COPD and other stuff, my uh, reader blog for the Kids Have Sun. And my primary thing is people that are physically challenged. This is a great place for them to have pets and come down and play. You're obviously not physically challenged, nor is your dog. <laughs> yes. But thank you again. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye now.